Yeah, boys pulled up uh, really well. It was a uh, good physical encounter against the Stars and, and probably the game that you actually want to have leading into a grand final. You know, if we'd gone out there and had everything our own way like we did a few weeks earlier where we beat them 58 to nil, uh, I don't think we would have been in a position to win uh, on Saturday. No, no real talk about that, uh, you know, the undefeated side of things, uh, you know, it's a nicety. Uh, we were very glad to avoid uh, what happened to Melbourne Rising last year by losing in the semi. Uh, you know, it was going to be our, it was our 13th consecutive win on the weekend and one point in time it looked like it could have been a bit of unlucky 13, but uh, we were able to get the win and, you know, if we win this weekend it will be our 14th consecutive win, but the most important thing is that we actually go back to back rather than staying undefeated. Yeah, it's a, it's a massive thing for Australian rugby and, and more importantly Queensland rugby. You know, you can see uh, with the Wallabies, you know, especially in the tight five, you know, you've got James Slipper, Greg Holmes, uh, Rob Simmons, uh, Kane Douglas, you know, for a Reds fan to see four of the tight five for, for next year for the Queensland Reds playing in a World Cup final is something that you get excited about. Uh, we know all games uh, are won through a dominant forward pack, so to have that sort of experience going into our 2016 side is fantastic and then you, you throw in the guys that will be playing here at Ballymore at 3pm, you know the young players like Andrew Reddy, uh, Sam Talakai, uh, just fantastic young talents that you know added in with uh, some very good experience football is going to make us a very dominant forward pack in 2016 and lay a platform for the backs to get on the front foot and for us to win a lot more football games than what we did this year. Yeah, um, you know, unfortunately I didn't make it to grand final last year, but uh, yeah, I'm just excited to be here. You know, I'm taking in every day that comes with it. Uh, you know, it's exciting just the build up to it. Uh, you know, uh, going, I'm not trying to think too much of going back to back or anything like that. Uh, we're just happy to be here for now and uh, work through uh, our training schedule and just hopefully we get there in the end. Yeah, obviously, you know, making it to the World Cup is amazing. You know, and the credit to the Wallabies. You know, they've been playing well throughout the whole whole tournament, you know, uh, they're, now they're at the biggest stage of world, world rugby and, um, you know, I'm so excited for them. Um, but I know they'll do well, you know, I believe that um, they'll win the World Cup. So, um, you know, for us uh, in Queensland, you know, just to, uh, for us boys, you know, and the boys playing back for Australia, you know, for us to make through this grand final too is important, you know, just for the morale of, uh, of a whole as Queensland. You know, um, I know that we'll put our best foot forward come this weekend and uh, both Australia and us will play well.